Alrighty then. Heya hiya, peeps. So, quick history lesson. Won't take too long, but TFH first came out on Indiegogo. It was indeed crowd crowdfunded. Uh, it passed its goal with flying colors, and we were going to get a game out of it. A wonderful little game of TFH. After the original Fighting is Magic was copyright claimed and taken down by Hasbro. And it plays super good. It was an incredible game for so many patches. And for so long, they just kept on making it better and better. And the future looked bright for it. It was one of the fighting games that actually got rollback netcode really correct, like very early on. The lobbies were really good. You had both classic lobbies and avatar lobbies. It just functioned. And a lot of fighting games were released around this time didn't really function all that well or all that good. So there was originally six characters and then we got Shanti. She was a, as a part of the Indiegogo campaign. She's great. She's wonderful. She's a stance character. She floats around. She flies around and sticks to the walls like only a goat can. And then getting closer to the story of today, what was originally called Modus Entertainment and then rebranded to Maximum Entertainment acquires Main6, the development team of TFH, and they acquired the, the game itself. And at this time, I thought that that was going to be pretty cool because what came out of this was that we got console parts out of this. We got a season pass of four new characters coming. It seemed like Maximum Entertainment was going to help the game along with extra funding. From what I, I could tell around the time period and from listening to the developers, it seemed like if they had not been acquired, they wouldn't have been able to deliver on extra crowdsourcing things that they wanted to deliver on, such as extending and finishing the story mode of the game, which was a crowdsource goal, with only chapter one of a predicted six chapters uh, having been produced at this time. The console ports had their issues, of course, but for the most part, uh, they were well done console ports. And then two of the new characters start coming out, Texas comes out, everyone hates him, he's a overpowered grappler, to say the least. Instead of being a low tier grappler and annoying everyone, you have a high tier grappler annoying everyone. No one likes grapplers no matter what really, whether they're low tier or high tier. But Texas was a particularly annoying character in my opinion for the TFH meta. Strong who comes out, he is similarly pretty powerful, you do have the DLC power creep that happened here and then we get the message and we wake up one day and most of main six has been fired they have been let go from the process they are kicked off of the game this even results in them immediately losing a uh, mod ship and admin ship of the TFH official discord. And that place, from what I hear, I didn't even see this, but I heard about it from friends. It became a nuclear wasteland in no time at all because Maximum Entertainment were not modding the server. They, they kicked everybody out, but then they put no one in. So it was practically an anything goes rules free zone. And this was halfway through the season pass. So what was going to happen to the story mode? What was going to happen to the other two characters that were owed? You've only got three people working on it, supposedly. Maybe you've got more from the rest of Maximum Entertainment. And that brings us to today where, oh, I'm going to mispronounce their name for sure, but I'm going to guess that they are pronounced by hey, it's really hard to say. TBH, by hey, by hey, and Nidra were released, and it is wonderfully broken as a patch. Releasing both characters together, by the way, was in fact like weird in and of itself. Fighting games don't release like two characters at once usually. When it comes to DLC, you're getting one by one by one DLC because making fighting game characters is really hard. It's really complicated. You have to make them work amongst all the rest of the roster that already exists. It's probably Bug City. Infinite. Extremely simple to set up, infinite is found. 
TFH does not have infinites as a rule. In fact, it has systems in place that try and make sure that infinites are impossible no matter what players discover. Because they did want this game to be at least, even at the highest level, a two or three touch game. Ruby Heart from Marvel vs. Capcom had a glitch where you could freeze a character in place and then it's impossible for them to win and the only thing that releases you is the timer. Incredible. Truly incredible. By the way, uh, I will say, even at this point, uh, when it came to fit fiddling around with Nidra and Baihei in training mode so far, I think that these characters are really cool. Uh, it's a shame that the main six devs, the TFH devs, got cut off from development because even half done, 75% done, whatever you want to call it, Nidra and Baihei are cool. Like literally, if Baihei had been released fully functional and fully built, and the devs were still on the team, and I didn't have Carpal Tunnel, I would be maining and playing Baihei, like, hardcore, because the way that they work as a character in their command list is incredible to me, and incredibly up my alley for attempting to get really good at that character. But yeah, we've got more clips to look at in terms of what is uh, going wrong with the game on this patch. The super hits, but then the rest of the super doesn't hit because of this one little glitch that Stronghoof in specific has. I see. Texas is absolutely supposed to have, like, advantage here. He's supposed to be able to hit his super first. And then Nidra just jumps out of it. Oh, you were going to super? Nope. Standing first. This one might be cool. It seems like it's a little bit of like a wave dash type thing where they're or double jump canceling like out of the air. This one might have just been tech that stuck around TBH. Just instant air canceling. That might just be legit tech. Oh yeah, I can't force it. Oh, but that affects me. <laughs> Baihei has a, a super that sends like a few bolts after you. And it, it seems like if you dash into it, all of the projectiles hit and crash the game. It's just too much for the engine to handle. Play Same thing in here. A at all, so. Interesting. That's a pretty. Well, no, that's not as hard as I, I think it is at first. You want some infinites in your non infinite scam? when all the other characters, especially the base roster, doesn't actually have an infinite. Oh, that That is basically up to date in terms of what's going on with the game, in terms of what's going on with the developer. Um, I will say I'm actively friends with one of the developers, so I have that bias going on. I was acquaintances with two of the other developers besides that, and I feel really, really terrible that Main6 had their game taken away from them and unfinished. It's unfortunate because they wouldn't have been able to get any further than that they were when they got acquired. So we wouldn't have gotten four new characters, we wouldn't have gotten the console ports, but at the same time it would still be in their possession, the Discord would still be moderated, and we would still have a perfectly functioning game that is actually nicely balanced. And now who knows what's going to happen depending on what Maximum Entertainment is going to do. I tell you, uh, beware of any other game that they are going to have anything to do with in terms of fighting games that the fighting game community is like actually excited about coming out diesel legacy god of rock people some people were looking forward to or were a actively like out and like supposedly good i think that god of rock has a little bit of a similar story going on right now where it could be good but it's not because it's not finished it wasn't allowed to truly shine Oh, and they have, like, an Avatar game that's on the way. Avatar The Last Airbender, that is, not the blue people. So have fun with that. I'm just going to throw all the shade at this publisher. Like, this is such a, a cruddy experience to have been through. Money is a thing. Business is a thing. That's all fine and good. 
But even if you run out of money on these titles, I think that there's a better way to cancel things and to let things like naturally die than what happened. This is an absolute disaster for the community. People are going to be trying to run tournaments for characters that have infinites and characters that have game-breaking glitches. TFH is not a very big community. Usually you can only find around like 50 to 100 people playing at any time of day. But still, I'm gonna head into the game and show you a little bit of Baihei and Nidra at this point. Just because I want to. Because I do want to show off what the developers were able to do before they got kicked off of the project. First of all, pallets! You can go ahead and pause on any of these that you want to see and you want to look at closer. There's some references mixed in there, along with just some, uh, some regular colors. Notice the menu theme actually changes depending on what character you're on. This game had so much polish put into it, it actually had like this dynamic music system that no other fighting game has. Like, they literally had to make hundreds of variations of the songs in the soundtrack to replace, like, instruments per character. Every character has, like, their own motifs, their own instruments that play in terms of, like, stages that they're on and the menu screen. All right. I actually love this two-plus palette. So both Baihei and Tian have like this little like wave dash thing that no other character has. It's actually just pressing uh, double tapping left or right as the case may be. Tian can fly, but Baihei cannot fly, at least not in the exact same way. And still air dash though. Itty bitty word wave dash. Oh, can I like? Yeah, you actually can uh, do a little bit of a instant air dash there. Anyway, so by hey, I'm not sure if this is an actual like category of character or if my friend just called them that. But let's call this a stance character. Possibly you could call them a reload character. Ricochet. Because they have this. Standing firm. God, I, I will say, by the way, I was never too good at TFH. So I am not going to be the best, like, explainer of anything. And I won't be able to show off, like, the coolest combos that these characters are capable of. So you get magic. Mm -hmm using your magic button and the exact projectiles that are associated with that. And then you're able to use that magic on advanced projectiles. Bombardment. Bombardment. Siege cannon. Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's just screwing around in training mode. And that's incredible, yo. I love just how much of a military weeb Baihei actually is. Let's show off some super animations. And then I believe... And now her ricochet move actually has like a projectile attached to it for the next 12 shots after she does her level 2 there. And then, let's show off her level 3. Target in sight. Yeah, locked on. And shoot. 
TFH has incredible level threes. This one is actually kind of just like okay in the grand scheme of things. I feel like Bot by Hay was definitely the character that got cut off like the worst in terms of development. Oh, she also has a little bit of a wave dash mechanic. This character has such like a cool look. Just this really elegant feel. She has a lot to do with like dreams and spirituality. Nice. So Nidra is a stance character. So once you're in a stance, then you'll be able to do only certain moves out of that stance. Maybe you'll be only be able to cancel into certain things when you're in a stance. Won't be showing her off too much because I do not understand how to use this character in the slightest. Slum. Follow me. Let's open your third eye. This dream looks tasty. Oh my god. The level three changes depending on the palette that she's using. Because that tessellation, that tessellated pattern, that changed color to a different color depending on the palette that I used. Oh god, this team was so good. Slump. Follow me. Let me open your mind. So freaking cool. I love the giant frame. Tasty. And so smoothly animated. <laughs> that one was spicy. Oof. I don't want to do it here. I really don't want to do it here. I, I'm actually going to not make the uh, video too long. But I will also say that every level three also usually has a slightly like extended version of it when you land a kill instead of the opponent having health remaining once your level three ends. Because these are not instant kills. There is a possibility of that once you hit a level three, somebody survives it. God, I love TFH. This game controls so smoothly. So excellently. I'm sad it's dead. Rest in peace, TFH. You were too good for this world. is crazy. <laughs> If you surrender, I will honor it. You do not truly know someone until you fight them. Hell yeah. Round one. Fight. Do you, uh... Damn. Same brain. <laughs> <laughs> damn, the counter. 
we go. Headshot. She says headshot? Oh my god. <laughs> Boom. What a headshot. nerd. Are you pressing? Fuck, I forgot that's her dash. <laughs> Does that actually go under fireball out of curiosity? What was that thing? Uh, we can test it. Do you know what your fireball button is? Yeah, I know what mine is. Here, let's back up. I'll shoot my mid one. Oh, yeah. oh my god. That's evil. They made a top tier. They gave no shits. Even if it was still the original devs, she still might be that way. Probably. Character's neat. It's a shame she's busted as all hell. <laughs> I still don't fully understand her stance. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> that unloaded all of the magic meter, but it was funny. <laughs> Target acquired. Target acquired. I tried to counter you! <laughs> Unreactable looking ass. Ooh. Block this! That is interesting. Oh, I forgot I have to jump out of that. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> uh, it's a cool level three. That is I'm not like, that mad. That is like the first time I've ever landed a level three in this game. You know it? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Who do you play normally? On my other character, uh, Paprika. Oh, her... Okay, never mind. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, her level two and her level three are just literally not worth going for. Right. And they never will be. Woohoo! Get up, soldier! You fight well! Do something about this! You didn't see that one coming, did you? I fucking countered that! What is ground again? I hit the, uh, the wrong button. That's my thing. Uh, two That's my attacks. Uh, it's just any two? Yep, any two. Never mind, I was hitting the right buttons, the game just fucking hates me. Maybe, uh, maybe not magic, but it has any combination of ABC, for sure. I was, I was hitting A and B, I assure you. <laughs> it is a window. It is probably a tighter window than most. Oh, I can combo into that. Full screen, cool. <laughs> of course. We found that out before. Yeah, but I didn't realize I could do it just from a fucking, like, fireball. Oh, what? I can cancel sleeping to DP? What do you mean? Nope. Yep. <laughs> and OTGs. Sure it does. Because why the fuck wouldn't it? So sad. What? Shit, I'm dying. That's it. That's it. Game over. Game over. I, I recede. <laughs> I was about to try and go into stance and just spam A and B as much as I could and see if I could get uh, you anywhere with fireballs. <laughs> Shit, you got me. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. It's that easy. Oh, what is Siege Cannon? Those are great. 
DP on magic, just full, regular DP. Oh. You have to you have to have magic to do it, obviously. But yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, fair enough. Holy shit. That's Holy the full screen launcher I was talking about. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's busted. Not popping the stance to dodge siege can, it's crazy. What the fuck? This character's stupid. Whoa, that was some crazy shit. Damn it, I keep falling for that shit! <laughs> yes! I, I should have done it. I didn't realize how close to the end we were. If I hadn't gone into the stupid stance and tried to do it's just so funny! That's my thing. It's very funny. I don't blame you, dude. It is like the funniest thing you can do in this matchup is to just go into the air and start spamming fireballs. No! Knew it. I was not pressing! I was not fucking pressing! You were. You pressed at the start of that. I had a I was like, she's gonna press now. She, she knows I'm minus. I should just pop it. <laughs> and I was right! Oh, hello? How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, know I know that Oz has said that there was some way to reflect, but I didn't actually like learn that in uh, in training mode. Neither did I. I did it on accident. Character's so unserious. 